The arena of death is on Drakkar, Dranek's homeworld, overlooking the city in which he rules. The arena itself is a huge stadium where the champion faces Dranek in direct combat. The arena has no rules and no finish line. The only objective is to blow your opponent away by any means possible. You don't get to be overlord of the galaxy by being nice, and Dranek's no meaner than when he's in the arena of death. And with the kind of hardware he's got, you can never assume he's down for the count. There are no second chances in the arena. It's all or nothing, and you're playing for blood. They're shipping us to the finals, which are held on Retalia. The racers know it as Cloud World. Retalia has very low gravity, so all the tracks are elevated, and things tend to go very far and very fast. Of all the tracks we've raced so far, those of Cloud World will be the most difficult. General Sidon, one of Dranik's nastiest warlords, has been known to make appearances in the finals. He drives a hovercraft called the Saber Claw. Sidon's record in the finals is unrivaled, and he's as smart as he is ruthless. But if he decides to show up, he's gonna wish he set this one out. Semi-finals are held on Varkon 7, but everyone calls it Hellworld. The name fits. Races are held within the old Varkonian ore mines, and from what I've heard, they can get pretty nasty. The mines have been around for centuries, and digging ore wasn't the only thing going on down there. Watch out for this Beskorian they call the Bone Daddy. He drives an old mine truck called the Bone Crusher that's equipped with a rear flamethrower. Rumor has it that he used to be a crew boss in the mines back when they were operational. In any case, he races like he's been there before. I'm glad they call this place Hell. It means Bone Daddy won't have far to go when we send him there. Qualifying heats for the semi-finals are held on Earth, and they're shipping us there via the participants' cruiser, which we have affectionately renamed the Death Barge. The races are held on the streets of Los Angeles, which is no surprise. That place was a hellhole even before Dranek arrived. The streets are ruled by some idiot named Wicked Doc Voodoo and his gang, the Street Doctors. He drives this wannabe pimp mobile called the Big Hookah, which is usually packing some heavy ordnance, including a corrosive gas smokescreen. They say to cross Wicked Doc in LA means death. Whatever. The last semi-finals are on Transine, a planet known for both its beauty and its alliance with Dranek and the Horde. Makes sense. Those places not allied with Dranek usually end up ugly. Races are held on the streets of its capital city. Most people can't pronounce the name, so it's called Neo-Tokyo. Transine's emperor, a royal ugly named Long-Faced Lu, races for Dranek in a souped-up battle tank called the Titan. From what I hear, he doesn't like to lose, and his record proves it. The Titan fires a Class III shockwave, so if the Earth starts shaking, you know he's around. It ain't gonna be the only thing shaking when I get through with him. Timeless wonders have been unveiled throughout the universe. The great pyramids of Earth, the foreboding mines of Varkon 7, the magnificent underwater city of Transine, and the spectacular crystal caverns of Retalia. A new wonder is about to be unveiled. Aztec, from New Shop. The new wonder of the universe. This here's the racing science and technology's latest and greatest. That's right, the bomb pack. She's got Razor up the laser cannons. She's got a supercharged 62 valve V48 beast of an engine. She's got black veil oil slick crap and a whole bunch of stuff you I can't even explain or spell. Hell, we'll even throw in a set of six Magnus 18 lithium lion tires. You heard me right. Can you beat that? Can you beat that? You can beat your dog, but you can't beat that. So come on down and tell us what we gotta do to sell you this baby. Yeehaw! Of a coward.
creation is an awesome sight to behold. When pressure demands a release, when all conditions are met, that's when nature is at its most beautiful and its most deadly. The Hell Falcon, created by the pressure of the drive for perfection, containing the beauty, the speed, and fury of the flame, with the unyielding durability of stone. Hell Falcon, driving perfection. Hiroki returned to his beloved Tarar, where the ghostly voices of his people were finally silenced in the passing of Dranek and his horde. Hiroki was never seen again. It is said that his spirit inhabits the Great Eagle Rock, where ancient leaders of the Stone Clan rest peacefully, and their names are whispered with respect and reverence. time before the wars and the invasion. A time before Dranek and the Horde came to Earth and destroyed everything I knew and loved. A time before I was more machine than man. A time before the races. I was a soldier when Dranek's horde came to Earth. He spoke of peace and cooperation. He spoke of a new galactic order. What he brought was death. Wasn't much of a war, really. It was over before most of us knew what had happened. We'd never even dreamed of an enemy like Dranek. The things I saw in that war sleep much anymore. Sometimes I wake up screaming. I was recruited for the races soon after my capture. Dranek called them competitions to enhance galactic unity. What a joke. They were an arena where he could satiate his unlimited lust for blood. A twisted contest where victory was less than hollow and defeat was death. We raged on the asphalt in machines of war. Battle lines were drawn on the track every day and there was no prize for second place. The races were held on many different worlds, Earth, Farcon 7, Transine, Retalia, and Drakkar. First I lost my arm, and then my jaw, and finally my humanity. I became Motormouth, the most feared racer in the galaxy, and sworn enemy to Dranek and his kind. I dreamed of revenge. The dream came true. You see, the champion of the races advanced to what was known as the Arena of Death, the final confrontation between the champion and Dranek himself. There were others that shared my dream. Jackal, the Tamani warrior, Hiroki of the Seventh Stone Clan, Thula Crimstone of the Starian Senate, the Merciless Junkyard, and handsome Jack Bloodwheel, an earthen like myself. They were the best racers in the galaxy, and together, we were stronger than alone. We lived for the road. We lived for the heat of battle. We lived for the dream. Let the races begin.
Jackal returned to Krishan, a legend not only among his own people, but of those throughout the galaxy. And in time, he traveled to the Valley of Skulls, where his chains of destiny were finally broken, and he found peace among those warriors who had passed before. Handsome Jack Bloodwheel returned to Earth. His story was told far and wide and grew into legend. And everywhere he went, people followed. Some to hear his tales of battle and glory, but most just to be near the man who had saved them. The legends about Jack's life after the races were numerous, but perhaps now is not the time to tell. On Drakkar, beneath the smoking ruins of the Arena of Death, all traces of the Horde were wiped clean, and in time even the memories of their evil was forgotten voices that echo and fade in the skeletal remains of their once great cities, forgotten by all but one. Mighty Junkyard, the Avenger who balanced the scales in blood and in turn saved a galaxy. They say that there are worse fates than death, but now I know they're right. After Dranik's victory in the arena, we ended up here. Nothing to do but sit, rot, and relive those few moments in which we had hope. If only we hadn't been so close. This place, it makes me feel cold, and dark, and alone. I returned to the smoking ruins of what was once Earth and stood among the destruction that Dranik and the Horde had brought to my home. And as I recalled all that had happened, I remember thinking that in a thousand lifetimes I couldn't have punished Dranik for all that he'd done. But in the end, it was close. Driving has always required a certain grace, a certain style. Blood Moon Industries presents the Nightmare, the finest vehicle ever developed for the race. Suspended on a cushion of air, the Nightmare is a dream to drive. It has the highest quality vehicular weapon systems produced yet. With this much firepower at your fingertips, you'll be riding in the lap of luxury for years to come. The Nightmare. From our dreams to yours. Thula returned to the Starian Empire she had saved from destruction, hailed far and wide as its greatest leader in 10,000 years. It is said that she stands for hours gazing over the Sea of Tranquility, where the violent memories of times past are lost forever in its moonlit depths. You want to win the race? You know you gotta have performance. Well, I want to put you in a car to give you that performance. With backdropping mines and dual mounted 27 millimeter cannons, you'll have it all. Jeez, the Tiger Shark. Newest model of the Nemesis Factory. Now, you know what this car is? Well, I have tried to explain it. So, this is what I want you to do. I want you to come in and get it. You know you want this car. What do I gotta do to sell it to you? What is she called? Tiger Shark. That's what it is, Tiger Shark. Newest model of the Nemesis Factory. And make yourself smile today. Am I right or am I wrong? 
The desert. It's said to be the harshest land on Earth. The harshest land breeds the most fearsome creatures. The scorpion, filled with deadly venom, capable of striking with blinding speed. Nothing dares its sting. Until now, Kill Science is proud to introduce the Tormentor, the car that makes it easy to laugh in the face of danger. Tormentor. It's payback time. That's how it all ended. <laughs> News of Granik's defeat spread quickly, and the rest of the Horde soon suffered the same fate. All traces of Dranik's tyranny were wiped clean, destroyed by the vengeful wrath of those peoples who had suffered his cruelty for the better part of a century. But the races have changed me forever. I choose to go my own way. The road calls and I must answer. My best times are spent behind the wheel, with the engine screaming and the tires smoking and only the horizon to stop me. I suppose there's no better way.